Hey folks, okay, so now that the whole boy racer Gunting thing has gotten out of my system and first impressions are done and dusted with, you know what, I can actually see why, uh, I don't know, I can actually maybe see why this car is worth as much as it is. It is, it is by the way, I forgot to mention yesterday, the AMG line, it's not an AMG, AMG one, one engine, one, one, uh, one technician thing, uh, but it is the AMG line. So yeah, you will get uh, AMG spec carpets and uh, a few AMG trims here and there. Uh, the rims, the rims have AMG on it. But um, where normally you would see AMG here, it's uh, it's not. So it's just an AMG line, uh, just as how Volkswagen has the R line. It's not really an R, it's an R line. So yeah, okay, maybe it's a German thing. I'm not sure. But uh, if you notice, there's this little, uh, there's this little pad here. And uh, playing with it actually toggles the the screen. This huge screen that we have here, it's it's so interactive. This car, I mean, for want of a better word, it's so interactive. The um, the displays can be changed according to to how you how you want it. You just uh, see, you can even do that here, just via this little button. It's the funniest thing. It's a it's a slider actually. So yeah, like I said again, the the, the younger generation are gonna love this car. Absolutely love this car. What does assistance do? Let's see. See, there is so much to learn about this car. It's absolutely some something else. I'm just I'm just toggling through it now, and you you're gonna find yourself doing this as well. The telephone. Navigation, trip, radio, media, style, service. It, it, you know what? It's all in here. And like I said, a weekend is not not enough to actually get to to learn everything you need to know about about this car and its uh, and its systems. There's so much. There's so much to play with. I mean, seriously, I can even tell. I can even tell where the uh, previous person who media who actually drove this car where they went <laughs> I better not see some massage parlor in there what's this thing with me and massage parlors I gotta stop this sorry I'm talking to myself right now so okay anyway back to the car there is so much to learn really about this car and uh, there's so much to enjoy oh, look at the seats are these are these like race seats or what even even the integrated headrest Look at that, it's not one of those where you can actually lift it higher or put it lower. It's like this, you know? And uh, I'm not sure if that's for the ponytail, <laughs> for, your, for your female passenger, but uh, yeah, there's a hole there. And although it's a five-seater, I don't think you want anyone to sit right in the middle here. So even the rear passengers get these incredible headrests. Quite amazing. So, okay. Ah, I'm always jamming my fingers in this thing. It's a very violent holder. Uh, the problem is now I'm actually facing the camera and I don't really know if you're going to be able to see anything apart from me. But uh, yeah, so after the Gunting run yesterday, I um, I drove a little bit spiritedly back because the, the car highway was empty yesterday for some wonderful reason. It was empty yesterday. And the handling prowess of this car, even in comfort mode, I just had it in comfort the whole time. It was amazing the way this car handled, you know, the sweeping. If you've ever been on car highway, you know what I'm talking about the sweeping curves, those undulating bends. It like a roller coaster. This thing just handled it brilliantly, absolutely brilliantly. What is this done? Okay, let's turn it on auto. But um, again, it all boils down to what your requirements are. If you're single or you know you know unmarried, let's not say single. If you're unmarried, you're just you've got yourself a really good job. It's paying really well, um, and you want something nice to get into on your way to work every day, and nice to get into on your way back home every day. You might want to consider this car because it is very well put together. It feels very very premium, and it's a small car. Um, it's about the size of uh, I don't know Honda Insight maybe, but it's very very nicely put together i still love these turbine dials you, you saw them a moment ago and there's one two three four five of them right here um 
if if you're like not worried about rear space for for people and if you're not uh, if you're in the car yourself just alone most of the time this really is something something that you might want to consider really because i'm not telling you to buy it yeah okay my job is not telling you to buy it but you might want to consider this but also consider the fact that it's worth more than a quarter million ringgit uh, it costs more than a quarter million ringgit and for that okay first thing badge value it's a mercedes-benz the second thing is they've appointed it brilliantly that's there's so much stuff in this car it's it's absolutely crazy remember when steering wheels just had the horn and that was it okay, now you got airbags and you got the full control of the whole car and it raises a very very pertinent point are we getting too distracted in cars and the answer is yes there's so much here to distract you that thankfully this car has voice activation and i don't want to say the word that will bring that lady back okay i really don't want to talk to her right now because i want to talk to you and um what it does is it allows you to actually speak to the car and tell it what you want which radio station you want to hear uh, or what kind of music you want to hear um, where you want to go you know through the to the navigation systems who you want to call through the phone systems and i think that's very important what's also very important is the fact that this car has got front collision alert okay now that is incredibly important for for newer generation cars i'm going to say it again very important for newer generation cars because more and more we're getting distracted by certain things within this car now think about it the interface right now i can actually use my fingers on the screen i can use it on the steering wheel i can use it on this pad down here there's so much stuff that's going on but it's all driver centric and i just noticed this uh, a moment ago everything is very driver centric there might as well be a panel here if you don't want to talk to anybody next to you so it's all very driver centric but it's also all very distracting there's so much going on here it's like you're sitting in a movie really it is of course this big billboard in front of me doesn't help but <laughs> it, it really is huge and um so i think yes more and more with with newer cars uh, let's let's drive off that's another thing i keep instinctively looking for the gear shift here always but it's over here okay uh, putting it in um, d automatically disengages the the uh handbrake can't even call it a handbrake anymore it's a finger brake and uh, off you go so yeah with more and more distractions within the car and that's not even including your own smartphone device yeah i see a lot of people still driving like this which is really bad please don't do that um coupled with that there are so many distractions in the car these days so a front collision alert warning system is key because it happened in the previous video i got too close to bobby in front of me in the audi quattro and it went beep 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 just to tell you because if i had been looking down at you know maybe changing the settings because of gunting run you want sport or dynamic or something it, that could have been bad so yeah that could have been very bad if i had if i had just you know kept going and uh, yeah we don't want fender benders ever um even more so in a test car it's a lovely day today it's so uh it's like what uh, oh it's still 35 36 degrees outside but it's cloudy and nice and so i hope this isn't too dark sunroof would have been cool but uh no, none there i um i do feel that in general with the newer uh cars that are coming out these days we are definitely getting more and more distracted in terms of when we drive and that's not a good thing so thankfully yes this car ha does have the uh the rear um sorry i said rear because i was looking how to activate the rear wiper the front collision alert and that that's really important so okay back to the a250 amg line is it worth 260 or thousand ringgit uh i'm not gonna even think about answering that really that's entirely up to you uh i've always said if you have the means by all means uh, yeah i coined that uh, a long time ago and so use using that you know do you really need a a250 amg line in your life um well you know what who's to say what's a need if you really want it by all means try and get it and it's a very very nice car i mean th there's no there's no getting around it it is small i mean it is a compact but on the inside it feels big it feels luxurious it feels roomy it feels very comfortable I, I don't even have to talk about nbh okay if you know any mercedes-benz if you've ever been in a new mercedes-benz you'll know nbh is really good um and i can i can attest to that because even after 36 years my uh, thank you sir my uh mercedes-benz w126 still has very pretty good nbh levels 
and that, that's really nice. Sorry, this thing tends to drop a little bit. But um, that said, if you're willing to pay that much for a car, then pretty much nothing I'm going to say right now uh, is going to dissuade you uh, from actually going out and having a look at this car. By all means, please go and drive it because if you drive it sedately, I did mention something about the um, suspension system. It is a little bit, well, you know what, now that I'm driving like a normal human being and not an idiot, it does feel okay. It's quite, it's quite comfortable. But yesterday, um, maybe the roads were less than perfect. It did feel very harsh. It did. It really did. And, uh, oh yeah, this one, one good thing about the new Mercedes Benz is they put all the, uh, the, the signal lights and the wipers in one stock and there's no way you're going to accidentally activate your wipers while wanting to actually turn uh, using the turn signal. So please use your turn signal. You're not going to look like an idiot for accidentally put, turning on your wipers. That's not possible because it's a twist to turn on the wipers and it's up and down for the, uh, for the uh, signal lights, something that um, maybe BMW might want to consider <laughs> since there's an ongoing joke that uh, BMWs don't come with signal, signal stocks. You know, it's an optional extra. No, they're there. Every single BMW has a signal stock. It's just that some drivers prefer not to use it. I don't know why, okay? I don't know if you heard that, but the uh, the car actually has a, a, a plastic flap uh, in front of the wheels, and this is to stop uh, muck and grime from flicking up into your uh, radiator or, or um, f uh, wheel well. But it's a bit low, and it does tend to touch down every once in a while during a, a speed hump, so don't, don't, don't fly over speed humps, okay? I'm not gonna talk about design anymore. You know how I feel about design. Um, it's subjective it's very very subjective this car has a rather bulbous rear and a very sharp front not very sharp but sh sharp enough so it's big at the back and s small in the front and kind of reminds me of a fiat brava do you remember those the marias the bravas big at the back small in the front but um, i digress i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave the uh, design and styling entirely up to you because design and styling is subjective, all right? You might find this car beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Nothing wrong with that. You might find it hideous. Nothing wrong with that either. It's, it's all your own personal choice. Uh, the diamond grill up front, you know, not many, pe not many people are, you know, uh, liking it. Some, some don't like it, some like it. I think it's lovely. I mean, why should a grill just be slats? You know, why not put stuff in it if it's gonna be there? Um, that said, okay, apart from design, apart from styling, this is a very, very nice car to drive. It really is. And there's no getting around that fact. I'm just uh, cruising around now. Um, I'm not driving like a maniac, okay? Klanajaya is my hood too. Um, I love this place. I've lived in Klanajaya for 30 years. I love Klanajaya. And uh, so I'm, you know, just driving around now, giving you a scenic tour, although you can't see anything. Back to uh, the car. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> I've, I've ended up uh, at Con's place. Okay, so this is a new way of getting to Con's place. That's interesting. Yeah, that's his house right there. Okay, I'm digressing again. What is Con driving? What is Con driving? This is E39. <laughs> Why am I here? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Anyway, so back to back to the car. By all means. Go take a test drive for yourself. Like I said, my job is not to sell you a car, okay? I'm not a freaking car salesman. Uh, so please don't ask me what car you should buy. I really don't know what car you should buy. I have no idea what kind of needs you have or what kind of uh, lifestyle you have. So it, it's entirely up to you what kind of car you want to buy. So go, go have a look at this car if you're interested. If you're, if you're in the means of, of uh, paying for this car monthly, go have a look because I don't think you're going to be disappointed. It's a Mercedes-Benz through and through, despite the fact that it's a small Mercedes-Benz. Remember, Mercedes-Benz were always known for making big cars, you know? Your, your, your dad's Mercedes-Benz, your granddad's Mercedes-Benz, they were all big, luxurious Luxo barges. And this is Mercedes-Benz's foray into the small, compact car. But they brought that DNA of a big car feel into small cars as well. I don't know how they did it. Okay, maybe they got witch doctors working for them, I have no idea. But they've brought that big car luxurious feel into a small car. That's not an easy trick. That is really difficult. Uh, but they've done it. I'm going over some bad roads now on purpose to, to actually feel the suspension. And yeah, it is, it is a little bit harsh. Uh, but if you can live with that, by all means live with that. Because if you're an, a driving enthusiast, 
that still has a nine nine to five corporate job on weekdays and you want something on weekends that you can just bleh, let fly this might absolutely be it this 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 car might absolutely be it because it's respectable enough to be used on a day-to-day -day basis if you have a you know if you you need that status kind of thing it is a mercedes-benz there's no getting around the fact it's a three pointed star through and through but it's also a lot of fun it's a nippy little car it's it's like a little pit bull terrier or a little a pug that just very excitable you know you know excitable dogs are, <laughs> excitable dogs that's this car but then again it can also be very sedate and very quiet and very comfortable and very upmarket and that's the trick about Mercedes-Benz compact cars that very few car companies are able to replicate. You know, making a car small and yet luxurious and um, with that upmarket feel, feeling, it, it's, it's intangible. How do you dial feeling into a car? No way, mm -mm. very difficult. But she almost came back. She almost came back. I said something to trigger her and she almost came back. I didn't touch anything. Okay, she almost came back. But I managed to catch her just in time. So that's it. Um, in parting, I, will, I just want to say that uh, I'm very, very happy and very, very thankful for all of you being here, um, following me on this crazy quest of mine. Uh, it's not going to stop. I'm still going to do these one take, one shot, unscripted, raw, off the cuff videos. This is my trademark. So I hope you don't uh, expect in future that I'm going to start doing post-production with uh, slides and stuff like that. I'm sorry, I just don't want to do that. You know, I like keeping it raw, keeping it unscripted. I like the interaction we have in the comments. And like I said, I'll try to get to every single comment. Sometimes YouTube doesn't, doesn't notify me of comments that uh, have, have appeared suddenly from uh, for old older videos. But uh, I will try to get to, to all of them when I can. And I will answer you. Uh, again, I'm sorry, but if, you know, hateful, spiteful, uh, keyboard warrior shit is not going to be tolerated. I, I just delete those. You know, nobody's got time for that. But I do appreciate the feedback. I do appreciate the interaction that we have. And that's going to continue. That much I can promise. The, the videos will keep coming. And uh, if you keep watching, I'll keep making. But um, that said, you're always going to find that my videos are as honest and as forthright as can be. I mean, I call it